I thought I might take you on a, what it's like for a day in retirement. And so right now I am making my lunch, but it might not be like a regular day because it's a Friday and I am, I took my car. I, yesterday was move-in day for my daughter for college and I backed into a rusted metal trash can in my beautiful blue car. So I have to go get estimates and stuff at different detailing auto shops. But right now I am making lunch, which is another thing I enjoy about retirement is being able to make lunch or eat lunch whenever I want. My lighting in here is kind of weird. I'm, you're gonna have different sound in this video. I'm trying out different mics just to see what works. And this is all just an experiment for me, but I have a dishwasher going. <laughs> I have stuff gurgling in the sink, but I was gonna show you, um, I made taco pie yesterday. I know it looks really terrible, but when you warm it up, it's really good. So in retirement, TikTok has been way too time consuming. So I will watch TikTok. I'm in the recipe and coffee um, algorithm right now. So I get tons of protein rich, low carb keto recipes, and then the coffee recipes. So I bought this um, Nescafe Blondie and I'll make one of these and show you, but I am, I did really well not buying coffee for a long time. And then I've started buying coffee again, sugar-free, oat milk, you know, none of the additives or whatever. But um, this was this was back like in COVID. I think they did this in COVID, but then they started doing it again on TikTok. And so I made these coffees, these cold coffees with the, oh my gosh, it is so good. I finally figured out the right way to do it. I had one of these during COVID, but I never used it. So now I have one again. But anyway, it is lunchtime. I had like a granola bar for breakfast before I went to the auto shop to get my car worked on. But now I'm gonna have the taco pie that I made. And then I'm probably gonna get some work done on my computer and I need to update my resume. I have some ideas for my resume since I'm retired. And I really do think I need to find something. I just don't know what that is. I get substitute notifications on my watch like every 15 minutes of subs. I am down to sub in three school districts in the area. Right now, most of the positions are para positions and the pay for para is 20 to $40 less than the pay for a classroom teacher. But I really don't know if I wanna do elementary just because I'm retired and I wanna do something different. And I always wanted to do high school. So I wanna take high school subbing positions, but there's right now, I think in the queue for subs, there's like 121 open positions. <laughs> Okay, so the update on my car. As I said, I backed into a trash can in my beautiful new blue car. You can see the blue right there. It's super pretty. I just got my second estimate and it's about $400 less than the first estimate, but they're charging more per hour for fewer hours. It's so interesting when you get the sheets with the prices on it or whatever. So it looks like I will be sending my car in next week to get painted from my the air of my ways. <laughs> okay, I just got back from getting my car. Now I'm trying another mic. So I had no mic. I had the road mic and I have this mic. This I've seen on uh, Instagram a lot and a lot of influencers are use this one. I mean, I have probably like 10 different mics. So anyway, and then I have a light, a different light to see if that helps at all. Okay, I just got back from getting estimates on my car. I will take my car to get painted next week. And then my daughter just went to college. I'm going to borrow her car for a few days. Anyway, it's going to just be a big thing. So being retired just has all of the things. My goal is to try not to spend money. However, 
I'm in the coffee algorithm on TikTok and I really wanted to try more stuff. So this is $30 what I bought. So I have the sugar-free caramel. I have the sugar-free vanilla. I have sugar-free caramel macchiato. I have um, sweet cream. This is what I usually get almond milk because I am allergic to dairy. Okay, being allergic to dairy doesn't mean I can't have dairy. It just means that if I have dairy, it's just going to make me sick to my stomach. So I usually don't have dairy. And this is dairy, but I want to try it. Then I bought the Premier Protein Cake Batter Delight Protein to make it more of a protein. I don't know what I'm going to do, what I'm going to mix, but I'm going to make one of these with something right now. And I'll show you what I make but I'm going to be so sick today because I've already had one and then I've just had water, but I want another one because I want to try another one. The one that I made last night was the best, but I think it was too sweet. It had too much of this in it. So I'm going to whip something up and I'll show you what I'm doing, but this is going to be a jank video. In the videos, they just like swirl their glasses, but then they say to froth it so i am going to froth it oh i just sprayed it everywhere so it's like really really frothing a lot so you bring it up and down up and down and that's gonna froth it and i'm just making a mess this is going everywhere okay okay next i'm gonna put the trivia in so I don't forget and then I'm gonna put the protein I think I'm gonna shake this up the taste of it by itself I don't think I would do that I'll pour that in there now that may be all I need so I'm gonna get some ice okay so I have ice sugar and the cake batter so i'm just going to stir that up and i'm going to just taste it just this way i thought you might want to see me taste it okay, i'm going to add the almond milk creamer now it's probably three or four tablespoons but look how frothy it is. I got too much froth for this cup. Yeah. So it's this that is adding the sweetness to it that makes it taste a lot better. So for this one, I had two of two um, teaspoons of that. This was warm. They've just been not, they've not been using the frother on TikTok, but that just works better. I think this is key for me. I did not use either of the syrups this time. So part of retirement is just random, like trying things or doing things. Like I said, they didn't want to spend any money, but of course I went and bought $30 worth of this. Now, if I have these, if I don't go to the coffee shop now, I remember when I would go to Starbucks and it would be four dollars or 450 for what I got every morning now it's seven dollars because they have that tip thing where you leave a tip I don't mind to leave a tip it's just now seven dollars every time I go so this is like it's like four days worth of like thirty dollars would be four coffees but I'm gonna get so many coffees out of this it's ridiculous so on to my next thing on today's episode of what it's like to be retired all right it is 4 30 and after i drank my coffee i sat down i scrolled tiktok i did mindless things for a while but i also came over and got on my computer and had my computer in front of me and was scrolling the jobs listed to be a substitute teacher and i think i clicked on three so i think i'm gonna do a couple of high school and a middle school because I want to do something different and I did elementary so I want to like 
think outside the box and go outside the box. I may not even want to sub. I may not want to do anything education related. I may want to just find something else, which yes, I am still looking for other jobs just to see what's out there in my dog's back. I have, I subscribe to Flex Jobs, I subscribe to ZipRecruiter, and I have LinkedIn, Indeed, and then a bunch of remote TikTok things come up, so I do look at those, but I'm not really, I'm just not sure. Next week, I'm pretty tied down because Monday's the first day of school, I know way I'm subbing on the first day of school. Tuesday, dog gets groomed. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I take my car in to get fixed, so that kind of messed me up for next week. But I might do the following week and pick a couple of days the following week just to see how it goes. I'm just not sure. Um, but anyway, what I'd like to do is if I'm home I want and I'm doing YouTube or I'm doing my blog or I'm doing just various like work-related things or things that I consider work-related, then I want to be done by 4.30 or 5. So I'm not continually working if I decide to do this and I need to do better about that because I didn't really talk much about my mornings but I sleep until eight and then I piddle around drink coffee do nothing and be ridiculous till like 10 so my day isn't starting like I would like it so hopefully on Monday when my daughter goes back to school I can get back into a routine and we can do things but this was kind of an unusual day in the life for me because I still think in terms of being on a school schedule. It's all I've known my whole life, even as a student. So it's literally 45 years or more in an education system. There, I just, there's no way I'm going to be able to break out of that. But I have got to figure out, okay, what would life be like under different circumstances? So stay tuned. Mm -hmm.